Hi, my name is Joe Ensley here today. I am continuing my series in, in case you missed it, a theology check of our modern worship songs. And today I'm going to talk to you about a little song that I am super excited about called Magnificent, Marvelous, Matchless Love by Matt Boswell and Matt Papa. Now, I have to tell you that none of this content is at all sponsored. I just really love Matt Boswell and Matt Papa. And I have to say, Matt Papa probably wrote the best book for worship leaders that I've ever read called Look and Live. You can find that on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to it in my description so you can find it. But Look and Live by Matt Papa, probably the best gift you could buy for your worship leader. It's uh, probably my favorite worship leader book. It's just fantastic. But they, they together wrote this song, and the recording I've got, they're singing it with the Gettys. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this, and we can start digging into it just a little bit. Here we go. So it's Keith and Kristen Getty. They gotta pretend that it's an Irish song, but it's really not. It's actually pretty normal, especially the way we do it at our church. All right, so that's a little taste of how it goes, and then it ramps up pretty hard in the chorus. I've got the lyrics on my computer here in front of me, but I want to just read you a couple of these lyrics. Because the thing about this song is it has 100% of my endorsement. And if you've watched any of my other series or watched me talk about anything else, you know that I can uh, lean on being a little too opinionated and critical. Uh, this song, the theology is strong. Now, the message is great and clear, and it is built for congregational singing. It's not built for some guy who has thousands of, you know, recording labels out there, and he's like rolling down the road, and he, he sings on the radio, and it's in his key for his voice with his band, and then your worship team tries to do it, and you fall flat on your face. This isn't like that. This is a fantastic song built for the church to sing. But listen to some of these lyrics. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love, too vast and astounding to tell, Forever existing in worlds above, now offered and given to all. So they're telling us about the story of the gospel from before the world's created. And then in verse 2, creation is brimming with thankfulness. The mountains exultant they stand. The seasons rejoice in your faithfulness. All life is sustained by your hand. You know how rare it is to have a hymn writer that acknowledges the truth found in Genesis chapter 1 of our Bibles? And they actually start with God being eternal in verse 1. God is eternal before the world existed. Then verse 2, creation is brimming. Now we've got God as creator. All life is sustained by his hand. Then we get down in here. Let me scroll down to verse 3. Okay. What grace that you entered our brokenness. You came in the fullness of time. How far we had fallen from righteousness, but not from the mercies of Christ. This isn't even the whole third verse. But see, now we've gone eternal God. Creator God, now Savior God, entering into people who have fallen from righteousness, not presenting you and me as these uh, just wonderful beings deserving of God's love, which is not the case the Bible teaches. We are sinners. We're in desperate need, but the mercy of Christ overcomes, uh, regardless of our sin and our problems, the mercy of Christ overcomes that with his love because the story is about him, not us. And so verse three just keeps rolling in with that. And the chorus uh, is fantastic. You got to go listen to this song by yourself to go figure it out. Um, but basically super gospel centered, strong theologically. If you need some more worship songs to kind of beef up your listening, look up Magnificent, Marvelous, Matchless Love by Matt Boswell and Matt Papa. And uh, yeah, listen and be blessed.